Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. A close-in weapon system or CIWS is the last line of defense against hostile aerial threats and that's why they need to be highly accurate, programmable with high rate of fire. The gun mount of CIWS moves at high speed with precision enabling systems defensive capabilities against incoming targets and threats. Indian Armed Forces have requirement of such CIWS on warship and land. At present, they are heavily relying on foreign CIWS which includes gun from Russia and BAE systems. Back in 2018, Indian Air Force has launched $1.5 billion program to buy new generation close-in weapon system to replace obsolete L-70 and ZU-23-2B air defense systems. In the lights of the same, Bharat Forge Limited has developed new cutting-edge close-in weapon system. If you look at the tender, it was for domestic firms which means Kalyani's CIWS has very good chances of getting selected for this. As for the Indian Air Force requirement, the CIWS unit will have a short range and its air defense gun should have a range of 3.5 km and be capable of firing 200 rounds of ammunition per minute. The Air Force aims to induct home-made CIWS unit within the next 4 years and will integrate the system with air command and control system that perform air traffic and surveillance management functions. When the tender was issued, there was no domestic solution for this. Kalyani Group took this opportunity and now they have developed CIWS specifically designed and developed to keep aerial threats at bay and continuously protect the vast airspace. The CIWS is developed in collaboration with BA Systems and IAI has proven lethal against various air targets including small aero models and drones and has completed its trials. Talking about Kalyani CIWS, it is based on BAE's land mobile variant of BAE 40 MK4 naval gun. It is flexible, highly versatile gun system designed to react quickly. Lightweight and compact gun system combines long range and a high rate of fire giving a greater level of defense against surface air and shore based targets. The 40 MK4 naval guns uses same 40mm cannon which is also used in CV-90 infantry fighting vehicle in service with Swedish Army. It can go from warning to destruction in less than 0.5 seconds. It uses modern radars and electro-optical sensors to detect the aerial threats which is most likely to be provided by IAI. It also provides optimized ammunition types including the cost-efficient programmable 3P ammunition with ability to automatically switch between different types of ammunition which gives a high level of combat flexibility in face of new threats such as UAVs. The system features 6 mode programmable all target ammunition. The 3P MO can be programmed for optimized effect against any target including air burst patterns for new threats that were previously impossible to engage. The programmable 3P MO also means fewer rounds are needed reducing transport storage weight and cost. These aspects combine to provide straightforward cost effective integration. The gun has short firing sequences of 300 rounds per minute and it has 100 rounds ready to fire with the possibility to shift between different types of ammo. The Kalyani CIWS is automatically loaded and remotely controlled weapon. The system's lightweight and modest size are made possible by innovative features including its electric drive system. It also has a fully digitized model architecture providing weapon synergies and full flexibility. The gun control includes computer controlled burst pattern, on mount muzzle velocity radar and remotely operated with gyro stabilized local control backup. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.